Hey golf fans, this is early 1981, so unless you've been living on the moon, you all know about PGA Tour 2K21. Now fortunately I am on 2K's VIP mailing list for all the latest information, so if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. Today we are going to be playing Rooftop Bramble by Mark of Esteem. Fairways are normal, greens are firm, green speeds medium fast, everything else is default. We are going to be playing off the black tees. It's the only T option, it is playing 7,609 yards and pin set number one. Now, all what I know about this course is the entire course is on rooftops of buildings, hence the name, the Rooftop Rumble Sky Course. So hole number one, par four, playing 293 yards. Whoa, stroke index five. This looks so very cool though, guys. Very, very unique course. I don't think I've ever come across anything like this at all on any golf game. But really looking forward to playing this one. I think for the rest of the flyovers, we will skip, guys, because that is quite glitchy. It may cause us vertigo or sore heads. So I think with this two wood, touch a draw, we should just about reach this green. But what a fantastic opening hole. I've got a feeling this is going to be a real challenge with elevation drops and gains. But this is track. Oh, it's right in the bunker, isn't it? Would you believe it? We find that little pothole bunker and that ball is absolutely buried. So we're going to have to flop this out. 61 to 69%. Just fully lofting this up. Good attacking shot. Should check up. Must have found a slight slope there because that's really picked up momentum. But that is going to leave us with an uphill putt for an opening birdie from 7 feet. Green speeds are 163. This one's just going to turn to the right. Good line, good read, good putt, and we do manage to start off the rooftop rooftop rumble sky course by Mark of Esteem with a birdie. Hole number two, par three, playing 261 yards. This is the hardest hole on the course. We've got an 11 mile per hour wind. It's going to move us to the right. Down 158 yards, so let's say five hybrid, I do believe. Just going to Apply it, draw once again, hopefully counteracting that wind. Let's see if we can put a good strike in this. Really good strike. The wind's going to start to take us back round. Yardage should be bang on here. This could be a really good tee shot. That does bounce out well. Sat down very, very quickly due to the, the height. That ball's dropping. That ball must be dropping with snow on it. So we've got a 17 foot putt, up two inches. This one is going to turn fairly aggressively. Is it a good weight? Have we got the read? No, we haven't got the read. Just missed that on the low side. Didn't allow enough for the break. But we are going to tap this in, hopefully from three feet. Pick up our first par of the round and remain at one under. But why, you guys, I can't ever recall playing a course that is entirely on a rooftop. So hole number three, par five, playing 588 yards, stroke index 17. I can only imagine that this must have been so, so tough, having all these things floating in the sky. No idea how he's achieved this. So driver, once again applied some drop, swinging really, really well. Oh, you see the concrete circles. I wonder if they're going to be a feature in some of the holes. I'd imagine if you bounced on that, that is going to be a lottery where your ball lands, if indeed that is what they are. Now, is that a watered hazard? It certainly looks like water. It's not giving us an indication, but I would say that's water. If we land on that, we are going to be penalised with a stroke. So, 12 mile per hour wind. Hmm. I think, wait a minute. Let's see if we can come round the other side of the tree here. I'm just looking to come in between this bunker and the rough and kick this onto the green. I've no idea how punishing the rough is, but we're going to need a, a favourable kick here as well. So just apply drop, letting it go left, and hopefully this wind brings us back round. What a fantastic clean strike. How's this going to kick? We find the area where what to... Oh, it's kicked hard left. Right into the bunker, and we do find our second bunker of the round. But once again, it should be nothing more than a flop shot. 18 yards, good lie here, 78 to 86. This should release. Don't want to play this too firm. Should run out. Oh, we've left that short. I expected a little bit more run out than that. 
especially down that slope, but 17 feet down 2 inches. This putt is going to turn to the right. Let's see if we can read this one better. In the first putt we had in the first green, this is tracking well. Good putt, good read. And we are rewarded with our second birdie of the round. We do move to two under par. But why? Wow, what a fantastic concept as we do move into hole number four. Par four, playing 450 yards, 12 mile per hour wind. 226 yards down. Can we go for the green here? Lots of calculations to do in your head. This is really going to test out your yardage knowledge here. We can definitely go for the green here. With that wind. So, so hard to see where the green is. This is going to be the challenge here. I'm just aiming blind. I just know the green's over there somewhere. Good strike. Wind should really help carry this. Where's the flag stick? I've got no idea where the pin is. Still can't see the, the flag stick. We fortunately carried all the hazards. And we have found the green. I can hear the flag blown about in the air, but I certainly can't see it. But it's a fantastic tee shot. Fantastic. Good calculations. And we've got a 46 foot putt. One foot down that slope there. This is certainly going to break hard, right? But wow. I can really see this course being a, a really good challenge. Going to get the brain working mathematically and it's executing the shots that you, you've calculated. So this is really going to turn hard right here. I'm not sure if we've played that firm enough. Seems to be slowing up a lot quicker than we'd have liked. We've left that at least 8 feet short anyway. And that is going to give us an 8-footer. Greens have got a fair challenge on them. This is going to turn hard, right? Going to play this farmer. Better putt. Good read. And we do pick up a birdie despite a poor eagle putt attempt. And we do move to 3 under par. Really cool name as well. Rooftop Rumble Sky Course. Really, really like it. But if you do suffer from vertigo or, or fear of heights, guys, maybe not the course for you. 10 mile per hour wind down 310. That is 100 and a 2 wood. It's got to be 2 wood. Wind's fluctuating out here. Solid swing. Swinging so very well just now. That should kick on well for us. Is it going to hold the green? But really love the design of the greens. Lots of detail has went into this course. And that is going to leave us another birdie opportunity. But I don't know, like I said, I don't know how he's managed to get all the... The items floating in the air, but what an achievement. Certainly got the pace to get here. Is it... Oh, I tell you what, good pace in that part. Just didn't read it as well as we could have. Did push it slightly to the right on the putt line. We do tap home another birdie. And we do move to four under par. But very enjoyable course. Make sure your brain is active prior to playing this, guys. Because, like, as you can see, lots of calculations. Fortunately. Now, see, this is where I'm concerned about landing. There's one of the, like, concrete circles. I'm just going to look to avoid that. That wind should bring us to the right with his two wood. If we can avoid the, the bunker on the right and that concrete circle on the left. Oh, horrible swing light. After just saying I'm swinging so well, sods lot. Commentators kiss a death and it's another bunker. So that is three bunkers. We could be heavily punished here. 66 to 74. We're just going to have to get this out with the wedge here. Let's go gap wedge. Just knock it out. Why couldn't I swung like that in the tee shot? And that's going to leave us probably a 9 iron, maybe a wedge, depending on the wind, into this 6 green. 152. Got an 8 mile per hour wind. It's further right than I expected. I'm going to have to go 8 iron and loft this up a hell of a lot. Wind's going to move us to the right. Green. Oh, I've put a slow on it. 
The only fortunate thing here is I do believe the green kicks to the left, but we're long. There's that kick and slope to the left, but far too long due to the slope. So 17 feet. This one's definitely turning right. Need to take care in this putt. This is for par. That needs to turn. Oh, it is turning. And what a fantastic par save that is. That actually feels like a birdie after poor tee shot and getting a slow in the tempo. But we do manage to salvage a par and remain at four under. Hole number seven, 771 yards, par five. Down 198 feet, nine mile per hour wind. There's that concrete box. I'm just going to try and avoid them. Try to stay to the left of these concrete circles. I think I said blocks there. It's another good swing. We've got a perfect, perfect. The wind should help us out here. How's our luck? I think we've just about carried that. We have. But that is a, such a cool um, creation there for a hazard. Like I say, this is a pure fantasy course, guys. Just a bit of fun. I don't think Mark is a serious designer. But he certainly knows his way around the designer tools. Just calculating again. I do apologise, guys. Oh, I tell you what. This could be really, really good. This course is really going to challenge your yardage and your decision making on these shots in this course. So 125 yards out, so it's 135, we've got an 11 mile per hour wind. I think I'm just going to deal off this wedge, allow the wind to do the rest. But all the cool little details that are outside of the, the holes are fantastic. Speed boats, ships, that should kick hard and then turn left. Is it going to sit down? Very good approach up, very, very happy with that one and that is going to leave us with a seven foot putt. This one, just right edge of the hole. Break should take us back, it does. And we do pick up another birdie. But very cool course. Like I say, be prepared for arithmetic though. Lots of calculations are gonna have to be executed in this course. So hole number eight, par four playing 520 yards. Down 110, driver can comfortably hit just applying fade, just to counteract the wind, just try to find the fairway here. This should be a pitch shot, I would imagine, for a good tee shot. Fantastic tee shot, fades kicked in. Should run out well for us. And with the downhill elevation, I would imagine it's not going to be far off a pitch. Oh, I'm way off. Way off yardage wise. How on earth did I think that would be a pitch shot? Huge blip in the matrix there, guys. 210, down 65, 5 iron lofted. We are on a slight uphill slope. Just going to counteract this wind with a touch of fade. And see if we can get this running up towards the flag. That is a fantastic strike. You won't see a cleaner strike than that. Perfect, perfect. This should be tracking well. This surely has got to run up towards the hole. It does. Just gained. Oh, wow. That really gained a lot of speed. Must have been a severe downhill slope there for one second. Yeah, there is. For one second, it looked like it's going to be good. Just caught that down slope. So a 19 foot putt. Not much movement in this one due to the weight we're playing it. If it holds its line, wow, the putter is red hot today, guys. Absolute red hot. And we do move to six under par. So a solid, fun, entertaining front nine so far. As we do move on to hole number nine, par three, 250 yards, down 100 feet, six mile per hour wind, five hybrid, it's got to be the club, especially with that wind here, it's going to move us to the left as well, could be just a touch too long, but I am lofting it up, if anything this will be long, not short, I would imagine, hopefully it sits down quickly, with the amount of loft we've put onto the club, Get down, get down. Yeah, I did think it may be a little bit, maybe a little bit long. Didn't sit down anywhere near quickly as I would have liked. And that's going to probably be about a 40, 50 foot putt. 36 feet. Up four inches, breaking both ways. This is just going to break more to the right than it is the left. 
Putt line superb. Tell you what, that's in. Have we hit it hard enough? We have, it just trickles in. What a putt that was. Great reading skills in the greens there, and we do finish with another birdie. And we move to seven under par. So speed golf here at its best. Hole number 10, par 3, 225 yards, down 40 feet. Look at that slope. I think if we just find that slope, this ball should make its way all the way towards the flag. Don't want to be long because there's a little pool in play. So five hybrid. Wind should hold us up. Oh, not the cleanest of swing lines, but it's tracking well. Should find this slope. Is that going to take us all the way down? Should start to turn. Didn't turn to the right. But we did find the slope. We are pin high. Got punished for that poor swing line there. So 25 feet out. Certainly turning to the right. It's tracking well. Is it going to hold its line? It does hold its line. That one drops at pace. And wow. Great to be putting like this. My putting has been really inconsistent. Off late. But in all fairness, I have been playing really challenging courses. As we do move on to hole number 11. Par 4. Look at this. Wow. Oh, 306 down, 12 mile per hour. Oh, I think we can carry that. I think this is going to be close. We could easily drop down to two wood, play safe, but I'm not that kind of guy. Let's attack this. This could be in the water. But there's only one way to find out. That 12 mile per hour wind's going to hold us up and move us to the left. Great strike. Great strike. Oh, that wind's really holding me up. This is going to be close. Stay up. Stay up. Oh, would you believe it? Would you believe that? We have found the hazard in the drink. And that's going to leave us a pitch shot from 77 yards. Sloping kind of towards the flag. So just going to deal off the pitching wedge. Hopefully pitch this up. Use the green. Oh, it's a horrible execution. Pushed it right on a slow think we're going to find that uphill slope due to that we have done needed to be more to the left due to the, the push and the slope that's really put us way right at the flag so 19 feet this is just for another par save tough putt this one that needs to turn it is turning hold your line oh wow how's your luck what a fantastic putt that is and we do Remain at the under par. We've had two par putts, two par saves that actually feel like birdies. So hole number 12, par 5, 693 yards, second hardest hole in the course. Where are we going here? What am I, oh, there's a hole away up left. So I would imagine we've got to try and find the rooftop here. Oh, this is cool. This has to be the feature hole. Got a 9 mile per hour wind, driver, going to loft this up, try and get the, the fairway in between the two bunkers here. Surely that wind's going to hold us up. We've definitely got enough club. Oh, great strike. Wind's tracking us around well. Are we going to hold this fairway? We should do. And that is a fantastic tee shot there. And that is going to leave us. Whoa. Ah, the hole's not over there. Could have swore the hole was left on the rooftop. Has to be. This is confusing. Let me look at the... Extreme left here. Overhead. Oh, yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely over here. There we go. 180 yards. Up 43 feet. This is going to have to be 5 iron, is it? Let's look at the... The lay of the land. We've got a 10 mile per hour wind. Yeah, it's going to have to be 5 iron. We will loft it up a touch. Hopefully we're not going to be too far. Just a touch aloft there. 8 mile per hour wind is going to bring us. We want to stay high. If we're left of the flag, that green's going to slope us all the way off by the looks of it. What a pure strike with a 5 iron. Get down, get down, get down. Is it going to hold the green? This could go in the bunker if it doesn't stop. Oh, wow. How unlucky was that? Absolute amazing strike there as well. And we are going to have a flop shot from 14 yards. Want to get this one closer than the previous flop shot, that's for sure. 
good execution. Don't spin. Oh, generate that little bit of backspin. That random backspin when I didn't want it. But nine foot putt. For the birdie. Turning right. Greens are, are fairly challenging, to be honest, guys. Depending on where you land on them. Is it going to turn? It does turn, despite a poor putt line. And we do pick up another birdie. And we move to nine under par. But what a fun course if you are prepared for mental arithmetic. Hole number 13. Long par four. Choo. Surely we don't drive that bunker. No, we're not driving that bunker. So just looking to come in between that pond and the bunker. Wind should take us around and leave us an elevated approach shot into the 13th green. But some stunning views here. This is such a cool course. I'm sure this is the kind of course that will be added to lots of societies for a bit of fun. I'm certainly enjoying my round here. But like I say, it'd be great to hear from Mark of Esteem how he's managed to get all these items floating in midair. That must have been so time consuming. It's 125, up 35. Pitching wedge, just allow that wind to take us round. Looks like a tough green. Certainly want to land left of the pin. Not a bad strike. Pushed it slightly. Winds took us round though. We've landed exactly where we wanted to. That's going to be about an 8 foot putt for birdie. Looks like it's going to break quite favourably for us. Very little break in it. Hence why we wanted to land there. And we do pick up another birdie putt. And I think we are now 10 under par. Cooking with gas here. Hole number 14. Monster par 5. 500... 615 yards, sorry, but easiest hole in the course. Wind's really died down, typical here. Could have done with that 9, 10 mile per hour wind behind us. Pushed it slightly to the right. But look at the buildings, guys. It's such cool environment. The boats. The buildings. The lighthouses. All the cool hazards as well. Huge green here. Is that cars in that tent? I'm sure we'll get a good look at it. I'm going to have to really loft up this two wood here. Great strike. That should hold the green with the amount of loft we put on it. Huge yacht there. Fancy yacht and speedboat right next to it. Is it going to sit? Is that another bunker we found? It just trickles into the light raft. But look at the cars in the tent. So much detail. We've not experienced any frame rate issues, despite all the... Oh, that's came up short. Applied far too much loft there. Only got the 85% swing. Fortunately, it's a straightforward putt. Breaking both ways. He must have been close to using the entire plant meter here on this course. But for some reason, playing very, very smoothly here. As we do move on to the 15th. Long par 4, 508 yards. Could this be the only hole that's not got an elevation drop or gain? Certainly looks like it. But a fantastic hole. Just looking to loft this driver up. Try and stay in the right hand side of the fairway. We have had so much laser beams today. Really feeling this, this round. Really feeling my swing today. We have had a few... Dirty swing line and tempo, but we've got 156 up 15, so one into a five mile per hour wind. I'm just going to loft up this six iron a touch. Just a touch. Wind's really going to hold us around here. Looking for a firm bounce out. That. Going by the, the green, we should get that firm bounce out. Green is uphill, though. Decent swing. Oh, that wind's really holding me up. Oh, that's going to come up short. That wind really held that ball up. Didn't expect the wind to hold me up that much, but we are left with a 19-foot putt. This one is turning right up two inches, though. Going to have to play this fairly firm. He's 1-6-3 greens if you under hit. That's a horrible putt line. But I tell you what. 
horrible putt line, but it's actually went in our favour. And we do walk away with another fantastic putt, and we are 12 under. So that putter is red to all. Look at this for a par 3. 196 yards. This is like in the dock of the, the harbour here. Extremely cool. I'm just going to apply fade here. This should land front, maybe fringe of the green. Should have enough club to get up towards this flag stick. Looking to land this right in the fringe. Might land in the, the rough. There's a wind taking us back round. This could be very, very good. We've landed where we wanted it to. Should have the legs to get up there. Keep going. Just a little bit short. Just a little bit short. It's another makeable putt though. Uphill once again. Played it firm. It's starting to turn nicely. It does turn nicely. And this putter is red hot. Our character avatar like Tiger or Date. That putter must be red hot in his hands just now. He'll need gloves, asbestos gloves to hold it. Ooh, severe downhill slope there that should help us out. So 146 down 29 into an 11 mile per hour wind. Let's try and use this slope to our advantage. It's breaking extreme right. Just try to catch this slope and let the green do the rest. Fantastic strike. Wind's taking us round. Oh, this could be good. This could be really good. We find the slope. How's your luck? This could go in. Keep going. Keep going. Go on, ball. Oh, great tee shot. And we have been rewarded with a six-foot putt. Just going outside the right edge of the cup here. Going to play this firm. Some of these greens do have a good challenge to them. But we are playing well today. Like I say, bar a few poor swing tempos and a few... Not so nice swing lines. This has been an exceptional round as we do move on to the final hole, which is a short par four, 294 yards. Oh, driver's going to... That's a lottery. I'm just trying to come over the top of that steps in between the little driveway here, in between that little wall. This could be some shot if we pull it off. Wind's going to take us. We've applied the draw. Just looking to find that gap. That entrance into the green without hitting the step. What a swing line. Oh, please be nice. Has it got the legs? What a shot this is. Oh, wow. Oh, no way. How unlucky was that? We could be in a horrible uh, situation here. I don't think we've got enough loft to get over these steps. What a cool final hole, though. So fully lofting this up, and we are going to have to, to fade this. Just want to get this up on top of the green. It looks if we're short. It's a straightforward putt. But we've really applied fade here. This could go wrong. What a shot that is. Hopefully that's a straightforward putt from about 10 feet. But really hope you've enjoyed this video at Rooftop Rumble Sky Course. Guys, an 11 footer just going to turn to the left. Good putt line, good read, and we do pick up a birdie. And I think that's around a 15 under, but what a fantastic course, guys. Extremely fun and challenging to play. Get out there and play it. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you do like the content, hit the like button. Until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.